In this tutorial, we'll apply 5-axis toolpaths to machine this impeller. The video tutorial is based on the impeller section of the multi-axis tutorial provided by Mastercam in the documentation folder in your program files. I will add four important elements to the video, such as showing you how to set up your machine lathe part as stock, one method for creating a tilt curve, transforming the toolpaths around the rest of the part, and then using STL Compare to validate the machine model with the geometry model. You can download three files from the website. The MCX file contains the toolpaths. The impeller lathe.stl file can be used as stock and the impeller STL file can be used for STL compare. If you're using the Mastercam educational version, you'll have to download the STL files from the website. If you're using a commercial version of Mastercam, you can save out the STL files yourself. Open the impeller.mcx file. The toolpaths can be applied to one portion of the impeller and then later copied to complete the remaining blades. This file contains surface geometry. Surfaces are used a lot in multi-axis machining. If your file contains solid geometry, such as a SolidWorks file, it's a good idea to create surface geometry on a separate level. Use the Create Surfaces from Solid function. In 5-axis machining, the tool must be controlled so that it doesn't rotate over and gouge other surfaces. In this case, we're going to use the tilt through curve method, which means that you need to create a curve and then select it so that the center line of the tool axis always points directly through the curve while machining. The written tutorial is not very specific on how to create this curve, so I'm going to show you one possible method. Create a fence surface. Select the top surface of one of the turbine blades as the surface to project and the top inside edge of the blade as the curve. Project the surface up 2 inches. Create curve one edge, select the surface and then place the pick arrow on the top edge. You can now delete the surface as it's no longer needed. Transform rotate the curve 22.5 degrees in a positive direction. We'll use this spline as the tilt curve. You'll notice that it's in a different position than the curve provided with the Mastercam file. That's because I couldn't figure out how they created their curve. The curve doesn't need to be in a specific location. It just needs to define a path that the tool axis can follow without gouging other features. Select a 5-axis machine definition. In this case, I'm using the standard Haas 5-axis machine definition that comes with Mastercam. Pick your Stock Setup tab, select File, and navigate to the impeller.stl file that you downloaded from the website. 